Hmm. The power manifested here is overwhelming. If Paradox is going to make her move, it's going to have to be now, during the Hollow Night. Are you going now, my lady? With that skinny... What was his name? What are you going to do? Do you plan on using him to suppress that woman? You mean Hyde. I do feel guilty, but it would be best if only you and I go. Grant hit his insulator would have made tonight much easier, but if she gets her hands on it, it'll all be over for us. It'd be too much of a burden for him in his current state. I agree that we should leave him behind. That child's potential is nothing compared to a true warrior's instinct. However, milady, I must protest against your pursuit of paradox alone. Especially tonight. That woman. Who knows of the scheme she has planned? That's true. But don't forget, she has the Weaver of Eternity lurking in her shadow. Until we have more information, I'd be reluctant to send even you off on your own. <laughs> to be cautioned by such a tiny thing. I could simply charge in head first as usual and take Paradox down myself. But I know you'll do as you wish, no matter my objections. If discussion is not an option here, let us do as we always do and move separately. I'll draw the other's attention, and you can ambush Paradox while her guard is down. Sorry for, um, always making you do the dirty work. I recognize how fortunate I was to have been trained by a warrior of your skill. Paradox will not have an easy fight on her hands. <laughs> if nothing else, you've learned to talk the big talk. Hyde, you better stay put. And don't do anything stupid. I'm going to take care of whatever happens tonight. It's still far too early for you to set foot into that place. I couldn't sense. <sighs> Who's there? I will not stop. I cannot stop. I must not stop. You stupid little boy. This desire. Something is compelling me to devour you. You're... Huh. <laughs> I guess a long life does have its rewards. To think I'd witness the day the voice of nothingness would speak to me. Huh. So, what's happened? Is this the appearance of a human who's fallen? Another thing. I won't ignore that you called me a stupid little boy. <laughs> is this not the body of a growing woman to you? You ask if my flesh is that of a human? That is one thing I desire above all else. I know not from whence I came, or my identity. My only memory is that of a screaming child. Why she cries out or what causes her grief is beyond me. I also cannot explain why that is the only memory I possess. So, your last thoughts as a human. It seems the ashes of your memories are all that remain. Honestly, I can't even tell if you saved that girl or consumed her. Whatever happened, I suppose it must be a heavy weight on you. Regardless of your reasons for being here, or how you came to be, it doesn't matter. I can't allow a monster like you to get away. You feast on the living as a beast of darkness. You'll soon be nothing more than a bloodstain on my blade. <laughs> Naturally, you would show no hesitation in slaying a mere shadow. So my kind hunts humans? Why that is defined as evil while the opposite is considered righteous, I do not comprehend. A valid point. Injustice is not always evil. This is simply a game of survival. I have no intention of calling myself or anyone who defeats you righteous. You wretched creature. If you believe that I prevailed here, then perhaps it is those of us known as Inbirths who are truly the monsters here.
Hmm, a member of Leaked Kreis. Here of all places. Are you walking alone, little girl? Uh, what? Little girl? You're clearly the littler one here, are you not? I mean, you're so tiny. The fact that you're so easily offended is what makes you such an adorable little girl. Let me share something with you. Judge people by their appearance alone, and you will get hurt. Well then, I suppose I've said enough. I see. The way you speak, your demeanor, it is just as they said. You're Line, princess of the Nightblade, of the ancient clan that has since been lost, possessing the ability to be reborn for eternity as a cursed ghost. I'm impressed you know so much about me, child of leaked Kreis. Perhaps I'm too famous, but... Huh. Wait, did you just say I'm a cursed ghost? <laughs> That's rude. Princess of the Nightblade, why are you here? Your answer will determine whether or not I'll be forced to apprehend you. <sighs> Don't misunderstand me. I no longer have any attachment to the name of the Nightblade. In fact, it's likely that I wish for their destruction more than anyone. Don't be such a fool! There is no way that you, of all people, wish for its end! I don't know what you're after. You may even be an ally of Paradoxes. Thus, as an executor of Leaked Christ, I shall now take you into custody. <laughs> you know, if you're this passionate about justice, you should at least be able to hear people out. Well, I suppose it's no matter now. Allow me to teach you how to walk this hollow night. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? I only seem to be running into people I'd rather not see. Like you, Seth. Princess. No. Linne. It doesn't seem that you're wandering the Hollow Knight to hunt the Void on the Nightblade's behalf. So I presume the one pulling the strings is... Kuon. The blades I now wield. Surely you know what they represent. The sealed... I see now. <laughs> that makes things easier. You should be careful with the information you divulge. Despite everything, you're still hopelessly naive. Then our chat ends here. All I have to do now is restrain you and go after Paradox's head myself. I can't let you anywhere near that woman, you see. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose you have your own reasons for walking the path you do. That being said, if you wish to restrain me, you'll have to do so by force. That was my intention all along, whether or not you approved. A word of advice to you? Do not think of me as the same child you knew before. I'm afraid you're still very much a child. In my eyes, you're a little boy, bound by the shackles of law. But fear not. I shall free you from the shackles of your imprisonment. My! Welcome, my dear little princess of the Night Blade. Here lies the depths of the Hollow Knight, where the altar of light and darkness awaits. This may be a desolate place, but it's an honor to have you here. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. No, with my ability to transfer this soul from one body to another, the fact that I've just walked into your web must have been just what you were hoping for. Uh, generally speaking, uh, yes. You're a very important guest of mine, Princess. You're going to grant me the ability to become a mortal. Tell me, I hear that your goal is to become a rebirth. Why do you want that? You should already know that neither Kuon nor I desired this. I can't give you that power. Hm. Perhaps. But uh, becoming a rebirth is just the start. 
I mean, I've been blessed with excess powers, and now I want to play a much more challenging game, you know? But your pathetic morality and rules keep getting in my way. You old hags have such stakes up your asses. Amnesia will take both Leaked Christ and the Night's Blade, destroy you, crush you, and grind you up beyond recognition. And with my power, I'll teach all of the inbirths a lesson. They'll never forget. The old knight will die. And a new one will emerge. That's why I'd like you to disappear. The insulator, your brother, and then the leaked Christ. I, Paradox of Amnesia, will dispose of each and every one of you myself. <laughs> I do admire your delusions, but you're not the first to get drunk on this power. How do you think it was that the Nightblade came to be? To bring order to the night. There were also people like you in the Nightblade. Those who let their excess abilities go to their heads. In a single night, their struggle for power tore us apart. Don't you find that pathetic? This is no different. Either you destroy yourself or I'll do it for you. It's time to face deliverance. And don't be fooled. This blade is not as slight as it seems. Now, Hilda, the Wicked Witch of the Hollow Knight, this will be your end. Unless, of course, you have a final trick up your sleeve. <sighs> I should have expected as much from the Eternal Princess of the Night Blade. Your excess abilities weren't even that impressive. Oh, the experience that comes with immortality is something to behold. <laughs> is that so? In your case, I would say your character is more problematic than your lack of experience. Your emotions are transparent, and your attacks lack variety. It was as if you wanted me to dodge them. While you waved your excess attacks around, I merely set a few traps and swept your legs out from under you. I've never faced such a flashy opponent who was so easy to beat. Well, should I continue? I could share more in the experience that comes with immortality if you like. Ugh, enough! Just talk, 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 talk! This is why I can't stand musty old hags like you. Why don't you just... Get it over with already. Deliver the final blow and destroy this vessel. Huh, of course. No need for fake compassion. I'm sure in a situation like this, Hyde would have let you go. Unfortunately for you, I'm not as nice. Farewell, Paradox. Though I doubt something like this would truly end you, I pray that I never meet you again under this night. Paradox, a formidable opponent, worthy of being the vessel of a rebirth. There's no way she would have gotten that power on her own. Someone else must be pulling the strings behind the scenes. The most likely person is the Weaver of Eternity. My own dear brother Kuan. He can only be after one thing. The talisman buried deep within my flesh. The seal of this curse. Tied to my soul. If removed, disaster would be imminent. I hate this body. Not even falling on my own sword would kill it. Will I ever be free of this curse? An endless cycle of bodies. How many of these nights have I witnessed? I will finally put an end to it. This body will be my last. With the insulator. And with Hyde will finally be possible. Go
Cause the sun. 